and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are in a little bit of a different setup today. Today I'm going to be shipping my sales with you. Normally when I do these types of videos, I take you guys along with me into my storage unit and pull my sales, but I figured I would just bring you back home with me and we could ship everything together. So today is Thursday, February 1st. Happy February. Can't believe January is over already, but I had about 10 sales that needed shipped out today. I actually forgot to pull one from the storage unit, which really upset me. That's okay, it's a Poshmark order. I'll ship it out tomorrow, not a big deal. But today was a pretty decent day for me considering, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure resellers all over are experiencing really slow sales. And the same goes for me. But yesterday I had a total sales day of $209.50. My net profit out of that was $162.70, which is pretty good. So that's everything I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Like I said, I have about 10 items. So let's just jump into it. I will go over, go over my numbers for each item, how much the item sold for, how long it took, my net profit, stuff like that. The first thing I do is put everything into clear poly bags, everything that can fit. I do have two bigger jackets today that are not gonna fit in the clear poly bags, but I usually start out by folding everything nicely. Some things are still folded nicely from the storage unit. Some things kind of get, you know, jumbled up between here and the storage unit. So I fold everything nicely, put them in the clear poly bags just to kind of protect them more in shipping. I used to not do this, but I really like having that extra protection. And the poly bags that I use, these ones are by far my favorite. Um, these ones are the more, most flexible ones I've ever found. Some of them rip super easy, aren't really flexible, stuff like that. These ones are really flexible. These I do have linked down below if you're curious. I just get them on Amazon. There's so many other options though. So yeah, we're going to start by just putting all of these items into the poly bags. Kind of just chat a little bit. Um, how are your sales going guys? Are they slow? Are they busy? Like I said, I feel like pretty much everyone is experiencing slow sales right now. So I wanted to kind of give you a few tips of what I do during this time. So one, now is a great time to kind of go through your inventory. I'm preaching to myself. I really need to do this in February. It's my goal to get this done. But one thing you can do is go through your inventory and pick out any sale items, any items that you maybe have had sitting forever. Like for example, I started reselling back in 2019 part-time, but at the very beginning, I picked up some very bad buys, like stuff that is still sitting in my inventory to this day hasn't sold, is just sitting there. So I need to really go through my inventory and pick those things out and just donate them. Like they're not selling, they haven't sold in four years, they're not going to sell. So that's one thing that you could be doing with this extra time because while sales are slow, you know, you have extra time because you're not shipping out as much. I will say though, try to stay consistent, even though you're not making or even though sales are slower, you know, it doesn't mean that you should be listing any slower. So if you're consistently listing 10 sales or 10 items a day, continue doing that. That is the biggest thing. The biggest tip that I can give anybody is to just be consistent. For me, I'm currently listing 10 new items every single day. And then I also delist and relist a bunch of items every single day. I do about 25 items on eBay and Poshmark. And then on Macari, I do a little bit more. I actually recently heard a tip from a reseller that said one of the ways that they make sales on Macari is to constantly be delisting and relisting over there. Because on Macari, first of all, their offer system isn't the best. If you sell a Mercari, you know that. Like, Also, you don't really share your items. There's no way to really have your items be seen unless they're new. So on Mercari, I do list about 50 items every single day. Another tip would be to go through your listings that you currently have, look through your titles, look through your pictures, look through your descriptions, make sure everything is, you know, as perfect as it can be with this extra time. So let's get into the shipments. The first thing actually sold on Mercari. It's funny, we had sales on all four of my platforms to ship out today, which is rare. Depop, Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. So the first thing was my one sale on Mercari, which is this vintage Mickey Mouse 
Henley shirt. I will pop up the pictures of all these listings. I only had this for about a month. Definitely could have got more for this, but you know what? I was happy to see it go. It sold for $15.09 or Mercari, which was an offer that I sent a buyer. Like I said, the offer system or Mercari is not great. Like once you send one offer, even if it's to one buyer, the next time you send an offer, no matter who it's to on that item, it has to be 10% lower than that original offer. And then when you do it again, it has to be 10% lower. So this item, I sent offers out like four different times. She accepted the last one, which was $15.09. I only paid $1.28 for this, and my net profit was $11.23. Like I said, this is going on Mercari, so it's just gonna go in a poly mailer. I actually put my Mercari sales in these eBay polys as well. I've never had a complaint about doing that. And I get these, Poly, eBay poly mailers from the eBay shipping supply store. So once a quarter, if you have an eBay store, you will get a coupon to use for eBay shipping supplies. I personally have a premium store, I think it is. It's like $60 a month and I got a $50 coupon every quarter to use on shipping supplies. This last time I got poly bags because I was almost out. I also get tape from there. This tape is from there. I also get boxes. These boxes are from there. You can get so many things. So if you have an eBay store subscription, make sure that you are utilizing that coupon that comes out four times a year. This first coupon is going to end at the end of March. So you still have about two months. I didn't use mine, like I said, because I needed the poly bags. But don't forget to utilize that. And that is under, I believe, like promotions or it's under one of the tabs on eBay. I cannot remember off the top of my head. This next piece was an eBay sale. It was this Brandini houndstooth button up shirt. I believe it was linen. This actually was an item that sold that had just recently been delisted and relisted, which is what I was talking about earlier. And this is just proof that it's so important to delist and relist stale items. Delisting and relisting items and basically is bringing even more brand new listings to your closet. So this piece I've had for about three months. I recently delisted and relisted it, like I said. I use Vendu. To do that which is a great service that i love but this sold for 17 dollars 62 on ebay which is 30 percent off i'm currently running a 30 percent off sale on my entire store on ebay i only paid 88 cents for this so my net profit was 14 dollars 51 cents so a lot of these net profits are smaller a lot of these sales are smaller today but these smaller sales definitely add up and that is so true for my business I usually have a lot of smaller sales, some higher price sales, but a lot of those lower dollar sales and they do add up. This next thing, actually we're gonna do that last because that is, where is that? That is a breakable item. I think it's in the other room, I'll have to go find it. But we will do that last. So the next piece are these 100% silk pants. Most of these items I did get from the bins, by the way. These I've only had for about two months. These sold for $14.82 on eBay. That again was my 30% off. Uh, my cost of goods was only $1.49. Had these for about two months, only for about two months. And you guys, I said this in my last video, but spring and summer items are starting to sell and they're gonna be starting to sell. We are now in February. so. Definitely soon time to transition from the winter items to the more springy and summer pieces. And this is a great example of that. So my net profit after fees, cost of goods, everything like that was $11.63. This next thing is actually the last eBay sale of the day. Actually, no, I lied. The breakable plate that I have to ship is also an eBay sale. But this piece sold the same day I listed it. I just showed this in my last video, which was a Goodwill Bins haul. I literally picked it up on my there's the plant. It didn't break. Thank goodness. Okay. We'll come back to that. Oh my goodness. So I picked this jacket up literally Monday of this week. I paid a dollar and 44 cents for it. It sold for my full asking price of $59 and 81 cents. And this is what it looks like. Like I said, I showed it in my last video. The brand is urban equipment vintage for sure. So my cost of goods, like I said, was a dollar and 44 cents. This is going in a medium flat rate box. So with bigger pieces that don't fit in the clear poly bags and usually go in boxes, I wrap them with this paper. And this is, I believe, the U-Haul brand. I get this off of Amazon as well. 
believe I have this linked, but I use this sometimes to wrap shoes, stuff boxes, you know, stuff like that. So this is by far my best sale of the day. Like I said, sold for my full asking price of $59.81. After my cost of goods and fees, my net profit was $47.02 in just one day. This literally covered half the cost of the Goodwill Bins haul from that day, which is incredible. And I still haven't even listed half of the items from that day. I plan on doing that today. So keep an eye out for a haul also of those items. That will be my next video. This next piece is that Campbell's Soup bowl dish. It's kind of a bowl. It's actually really adorable. I don't even remember where I got this. 2002, so it's not even that old. Um, I paid about a dollar for it. I had this forever, but again, this is an item that I recently delisted and relisted using Vendu. So again, proof that delisting and relisting actually works. Brings traction to your closet. It makes your listings fresh. Like this was a stale listing. Nobody was interested in it. The moment I relisted it, it sold. Not the moment, but shortly after. So I'm gonna put this in a bigger box. Like I said, these I get from eBay. I forget what size this is. 12 by 10 by eight. This actually is going to fit perfectly. Definitely a little tall for it, but that's great. So I'm gonna stuff the bottom of this with some of that paper. And then I'm actually gonna go wrap this in bubble wrap that I have in the other room. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that all wrapped up. Not very pretty, but it's protected. That's all that matters. So I'm gonna stick that in there and I'm gonna stuff the rest of it with paper again. So I don't ship out a lot of breakable items, but one tip I will give you is that when you're packaging them, if you sell breakable items or want to ship out breakable items, make sure that the item does not move around in your box. Like, listen does not move whatsoever so this piece had paid about a dollar for it sold for only eight dollars and 16 cents i'm really happy to see it go i think one of these days like i said in february i really want to go in to my inventory and organize it but i really need to go through my hard goods because they're just sitting there they're taking up space a lot of breakable items that i really need to just get out of there so my net profit on this was about ten dollars after shipping and everything like that the buyer pays shipping on all of my ebay orders so this next thing was actually a depop sale which is rare for me i think this is my only fourth ever depop sale and i started listing there about three months ago so this is a vintage bobby brooks denim vest embroidered this i only had for about two months as well i got this from the bins my cost of goods was only $1.12. A buyer sent me a $15 offer, which I accepted, and my net profit on that was $11.21. So I'm really happy to see these two to three month sales. Like my goal is to have all of my items that I pick up in and out of my store within three months. That is the goal. So seeing these items that, like almost all of these items are sales that sold within three months which is incredible so the next three and the last three sales are from poshmark this first thing is a vintage or i'm sorry not even vintage oshkosh Magosh little girls fleece lined corduroy overall bibs new tag got these from the bins paid a dollar and 40 cents had these for about two and a half months a buyer sent me a $15 offer, which I went ahead and accepted, and my net profit was $10.60. So I have a funny story about these overalls. So I have these listed on all my platforms. Well, on eBay, I got an email like a week after I listed these saying, your item was, was removed for a Vero issue. And it was this listing. They said that I used their photo. And I'm like, no, actually, I didn't. My cover photo was my photo. Every single photo in my listing was my photo that I took myself. Um, I did white out the background of the co cover photo like I do of all my listings, but it was my photo. So that was really frustrating. I mean, I didn't get any kind of consequence, thank goodness, because I would have really been mad about that. But so I then relisted the item on eBay with no white whited out background which is my normal background which which was actually on my wood floor out in the kitchen here so yeah that was very interesting i was like kind of shocked like wait a minute 
I was kind of flattered. Like, you think that I'm using your photo? Actually, it's mine. So I guess my cover photo was just that good. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was a weird experience. This next thing is a Liberty of London and Target collab dress. This piece I actually kind of regretted picking up. So I'm really happy that this sold within two months. And I sent the buyer a $19 offer, which I think I had this listed around $24. So I sent the buyer a $19 offer. My cost of goods was only $1.59. And again, this sold within two months. So really happy to see it go, especially since, like I said, I kind of regretted it. Did not have a great sell through rate. I probably should have left it behind. But anyways, my net profit was $11.59. And then the last sale of the day is also a Poshmark sale. It is this vintage Harris Tweeds long jacket. So these pieces can go for upwards of $100. I've had this piece for about four months. So I had this originally listed at $120, which might have been a little high, but that's okay. Um, I sent a few bulk offers on some of my most liked items on Poshmark yesterday. This was one of them. So I sent the buyer a $65 offer, which was literally half off, basically. Like I sent half off offers. They countered that at $45, which I went ahead and accepted, even though that's way under what I originally wanted for it, way under what I listed for. Like I said, I had this for four months and I only paid a dollar and two cents for this at the bins. So that was really good. So my net profit on this piece was $34.91. So on Poshmark, or since it's sold on Poshmark, I can use any box that I want. So I'm gonna be using a large flat rate box. And if you didn't know, you can get these boxes for free from the post office. You can even order boxes online and have them shipped directly to your house. So I love that about Poshmark sales. You can literally use any priority box any priority envelope. My favorite thing to use for Poshmark sales are these Tyvek envelopes. They are waterproof. They're supposed to be waterproof. Like I said though, everything that I sell, I put into pure, clear polys. So they're double protected, but I just love these so much. Definitely my number one used shipping supply and it's free, which makes it even better. So again, since this doesn't fit in a clear poly, I will go ahead and line this bag with a paper. We'll put this gorgeous girl in here. I really hope this person love this, loves this jacket. This is a really nice jacket and they got a great deal on it. But as I said, also, we are starting to transition more into the spring and summer anyways. So I really did not want to be hanging on to this until next year. So I'm still really happy to see it go. And that fits perfectly in there. So yeah, guys, that is everything that I have to ship out today. I'm going to put all of these in my bag and put them downstairs for my mailman to pick up. He's probably going to be here within the next hour or so. If you guys didn't know, you can schedule a free package pickup through the post office. I do it every single day and my mailman or your mailman will come and pick up your packages for you. That way you don't have to go to the post office. I've been doing this for literally years in every house that I've lived in. Like this is the third apartment I think that I've done this in and it's worked every time and every time my mailmen are just the nicest humans ever so I'm so grateful for that so I gotta get these in my Ikea bag get them downstairs so they're ready for my mailman but thank you so much if you watch this video if you stop by let me know if you like this type of video I might do them more I don't know most times I bring you into my storage unit I don't really have a ton of room here to film a ship with me. I think I've done it once on my couch, but unfortunately, since I live in a very small two bedroom apartment with two adults and two kids, there's not a lot of room in here as you could imagine. So anyways, let me know if you like this style video and I hope you guys have a great weekend and I hope to see you in my next video.